About one and a half years ago, I uploaded a video on how to properly set up your laptop's touchpad so that you can fully utilize it, especially if you don't have a mouse with you. You can watch the video by clicking the link that will pop up in the screen, which you can also find from the video description below. In this video, we are taking it a bit further by also eliminating the touchpad and using solely your keyboard to navigate and work with your PC. Please note that this only applies to a Windows OS, which means it will not work on a Mac OS and Unix system, since they probably have a different set of hotkeys as compared to Windows. Let's begin. First, let me introduce you to the common keyboard keys that we'll be using. Most of you already know this, but some might not yet, so bear with me on this part. When I mention the Win key in this video, it means the key with the Windows logo on it. On the same line of keys, we also have the Control key, the Alt key and the Space bar. On the far right side, we have the arrow keys, which we'll refer to as up, down, left and right keys. Just above the Control key, we have the Shift key, then go up a bit more to the Tab key. Then on the topmost row, we have Escape key, then the Function keys from F1 to F12. Now that we are all acquainted with the keys, let's start with the navigation keys. This is the list of the shortcut keys that we are going through for this video. First, to activate the start menu, you just need to press the win key. Or if ever your win key is broken, you can also use control and escape keys. Now if you want to navigate through the items within the start menu, just press the tab key to jump to different sections. When you are on the section that you want, you can then use the arrow keys to navigate through the items within the section. Again, tab to jump through the sections, then arrow keys to select an item. When your item is selected, just press the enter key to open or activate it. Or you can press the escape key to navigate out. Other shortcuts involving the win button is win E, which opens the file explorer. No need to find it in the start menu anymore. Win R opens the run dialog box, in case you want to run an app. Well win S initiates the window search. For menus like this, just press escape key to close it. To close a window, just press alt F4. To switch to another application or window, just press Alt Tab. Just keep pressing Alt Tab until the window you want to be active is highlighted, then release, and that window will now be active. And again, to close the window, just press Alt F4. As an alternative to Alt Tab, you can also use Win Tab, which will show all the active windows, and you can select one to be active. Below, you can also add a new desktop, which will be useful if you have multiple monitors. Of course, you can also remove a desktop if you want. You can also maximize the window by pressing Win and the up arrow key. This of course means that Win and down arrow is for minimizing a window or restoring if it is maximized. Again, that's Win up for maximize and Win down for minimize. Then Win left or right arrow will snap the window to either left or right. I have my snap disabled, I hate snapping of windows, so you can't see any windows snapping here, but you can trust me on that. To view more options on window size and position, you can press Alt and Space bar. This will show a pop-up menu for all the options. When you select size from the menu, you can use your arrow key to resize the window. When you are done resizing, just press enter so that the new size will take effect. You can also select move from the pop-up menu, you can then move the window to anywhere in the screen by just using your arrow keys. I forgot to mention earlier, as an alternative to Alt F4, we can also do a Ctrl W, which also closes a window. Let's open a file explorer here for example. Pressing Ctrl W will close that. However, when we go to a Chrome browser, for example, let me just add few more tabs here. When we press Ctrl W here, it will only close the active tab in Chrome. That's the difference between Alt F4, which closes the whole Chrome, including all of its tabs. Also forgot to mention earlier, that adding a Shift key to an Alt tab, making it Alt Shift tab, the movement of the window highlight is backward. It goes from right to left. While well, Alt tab goes left to right. Now if there's too much window opened, you can easily press Win M, and all the windows will be minimized, showing only the desktop. If you have accidentally pressed Win M, don't worry, since you can do a Win Shift M, then all the minimized windows will be restored to its previous size and location. I've already mentioned the tab earlier in the start menu. That is also applicable to any application or window. Like in this web page. You can press Tab to jump from one field to another, moving from top left going to bottom right elements or fields. If you want to go backward, you can do a shift tab, then the direction of jumping through elements will reverse. When you are reading something on a web, like this page here, you can easily press the space bar to that the page will scroll down. It's like doing a page down, but using the more accessible space bar. If you rely on your mouse's right click all the time, you can also do that within your keyboard by pressing shift with F10 key. We usually have a right click key in the keyboard, but if you don't, then shift F10 does the same exact thing. 
Now, for example you are on a document, and everyone usually knows that, to select a text, just hold on the shift key, then use the arrow key to highlight a text. But the movement of selection here is just one character at a time. If you want to make the text selection faster, add a control key. So that will be control shift and the arrow key. This will then highlight the text per word, instead of just one character each. For example, you accidentally deleted the selected text. Just press Ctrl Z to undo your last change. If you want to copy the highlighted text, just press Ctrl C. To paste what's in your clipboard, just press Ctrl V. If you want to move the text, you can cut it by doing a Ctrl X. Then paste it somewhere else by doing a Ctrl V. If you want to select all of the text in the document, you can press Ctrl A, there you go, everything is selected now. Let's move to PowerPoint quickly here. To put a text box or a cell into an edit mode, just press the F2 key, then start typing. This is also applicable in Excel. Let's switch to Excel here. If you are on a cell, just press F2, edit mode will be enabled to that cell, then start typing. Since we are talking about documents here, saving is important. Ctrl S is for save. For example, I edited the text file, so you can see the asterisk in the title bar, which means it is not saved yet. When I press Ctrl S, the asterisks in the title bar will be gone, since the file has been saved. Ctrl S hotkey is applicable to all Microsoft applications that I know of. So make it a habit to always press Ctrl S on every changes you make. One more thing that I again forgot to mention earlier. Going back to the Chrome browser. If you want to switch between the tabs of the browser, just press Ctrl Tab. This is applicable to almost all of the tabbed enabled browsers out there. Alright. I think that's all the shortcut keys that I want to share. If you have any other useful hotkeys in Windows that you usually use, please let me know in the comment below. I hope this helps, in case your mouse is broken, or maybe you forgot it at home, you can use these keyboard shortcut keys to survive the day. If you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. If it has helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing to the channel. Nilasuj for watching. Nova Air.